Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a stereo double track from a mono double track by using Revoice Pro and Studio One. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that Studio One and Revoice Pro can talk to each other. So let's go to Revoice Pro here. I'm gonna open settings. I'm gonna to go to Studio One and open preferences. In preferences, I need to click on song setup. What I need to do is to match these settings. So as you can see in Studio One, my frame rate is working at 25 frames per second. So let's change that to 25 frames per second. Now my display offset is at 0, 0 here. So I'm going to change my Simpty time to 0, 0. Push enter. Now my tempo in Studio One is 150. So let's change that to 150. And my copy and paste door, I'm going to change to Studio One 3 and later. Close the windows. So what I like to do is to have two double tracks and what I normally do with them is to pan them hard left and right. It just creates a little bit of extra width and I normally have them in the chorus. So what I was sent here was three vocal files. I was sent a lead, which is this bit here. I was sent this double track and I was sent a harmony, which is down here. So let me just play you where we are with this. I'll play you the, the double track that I was sent. But I don't care as long as it's free. It's free. And play it with free, the lead vocal. Free, 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 free. I don't care as long as it's free. Now it sounds fine. It's it's got a couple of problems. It, it's it's got like a low frequency thump in there, which I'm going to get rid of at some point. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. So what I'm going to do first of all is to copy this file into Revoice Pro. So if I hold down Command C, click on Revoice Pro and click Command V. And as you can see, it's pasted it straight into Revoice Pro. Now I'm going to set up a separate track. So I'm going to go to Tracks, Add Tracks. And let's call that, uh, I don't know, Stereo Dub. And push Add. Now I'm going to push the B key, which brings up New Process. I'm going to choose Doubler. And I'm going to choose a preset, Stereo Vocal Loose Timing. My input, which is my lead vocal there, is Audio 1. And my output, I'm going to make to Stereo Dub. So basically what it's going to do is to process the audio and then place it in Stereo Dub. I click New Process. So now it's generated this file. I can close this window. And I'm going to hold Shift and Alt down and click on this file. And it creates this file icon. I'm going to let go of Shift and Alt and just copy it straight back into Studio One and let go. Now, as you can see, I didn't copy it to the right place and you don't have to do that because all I have to do now is to make sure the file's highlighted here, go to edit and move to origin. And as you can see, it places it straight over. Now let's hear that back. But I don't care as long as it's free. It's free, 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 free. So now, as you can hear, this vocal's got some great stereo width to it, and it sounds very natural. So let's take it out solo. Make sure that one's muted, and let's hear that in the track. So I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.